Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I've got another Amazon product review. So let's open up this box and see what's inside. The product we're going to take a look at today is the Kemimoto magnetic cell phone holder for your motorcycle. So this pouch is designed to hold your cell phone inside with a clear window so that you can see the screen. I'm not sure if you'll be able to use your touch screen through this or not. That's one thing we'll have to test. Um, it's also designed to be somewhat weatherproof, I believe, so that you know if it's raining while you're riding it won't damage your phone. The pouch itself is made of a fake leather material, you know, mostly some sort of a vinyl, I guess. Uh, let's see, it's got a nice little hook here so that when you're not using it, you could hang it on a hook to keep it out of the way. Over here, it's got some zippers, and you can see that it's got these long poles on it so that if you're wearing your motorcycle gloves, you can unzip this easily and get your phone out without taking your gloves off. The other thing that's kind of interesting, you may be able to see in the camera there, is that the zipper uh, sort of seals itself, and that kind of helps keep the weather out of it. It's not perfect. If you look real close, you can kind of see a seam there. But I think unless you were in, you know, a, a thunderstorm and a, or a heavy downpour or something, this would probably keep most of the water out of here and do a pretty good job of it. So if we open it up inside, you can see there's a couple of foam pads here to kind of cushion the phone, and those would stay sort of in the bottom and cover up these magnets here. You can see there are four of them there. Now the surface of my desk is steel. I've got this anti-static mat that's used in the electronics manufacturing industry, and this has got some pull to it even through the anti-static mat. So the magnets in here are pretty good, I think. But we'll test those later on the bike. So to put the cell phone in the pouch, just open up the Velcro straps over on this side, and we slide it down in here, and then we'll put the straps back on to hold it in place, and then we can zip it back up, I guess. The phone I'm using is a Samsung Galaxy S4. I'm recording this video in October of 2017, and this phone is close to three years old now. In fact, the model itself is probably closer to four years old. I got this as a leftover. Anyway, you can see it fits in here pretty well. It's, uh, it's a little bit thick. You can see it's protruding a little bit here, um, but that's mostly because I have an OtterBox case on here that kind of raises up around the phone and kind of increases the thickness. Now I kind of like it because it keeps it secure in there and it doesn't move around. But if you didn't like this thickness or if your phone is even a little bit thicker for some reason, you could take out one of those foam pieces that's in there to kind of give yourself a little bit more room. The maximum dimension of phone that you can put in this case is listed in the description below. So if you have a bigger phone, you'll want to check and make sure that it's going to fit in this case if you're considering purchasing one of these. Let's check and see if we can use the touch screen through the plastic face. So that works a little bit better than I thought it might. So one thing that I think will be useful for me, now that I know that this works really good, is I'll be able to use Google Maps and use the navigate function to find my way around the back roads that I tend to ride on. Alright, so let's go put this to the real test and try it out on a motorcycle. Let's take a look at the cell phone holder on my 2001 Kawasaki ZR7S. You can see I've got it up here on the forward part of the tank because that is the flattest part and more of the magnets will make contact up there than they do anywhere else on the tank. 
it feels reasonably secure here. It's not, you know, stuck like glue. You can, you know, move it around fairly easily. But I think under normal riding conditions, it'll stay right there and it won't move around. And it's in a nice visible position. Now, if I bring it back here and put it on this part of the tank, the way my tank is curved, I can't get it to sit flat. So it only holds with maybe two or maybe four magnets at the most, but it, it kind of flops back and forth, and I think it could easily get knocked off there. There just isn't enough flat surface to kind of hold it in place. So that probably wouldn't be a good spot for it. If I move it further up, we've got the same issue, and of course right here on the gas cap, this is all aluminum, so it's not really going to hold to anything up there. Now I suppose I could move it over here to the side. There's enough flat surface on this part of the tank, and I think it would stay on there fairly well. There's enough retention force. I think even if I hit a bump, I don't think it would really fly off or anything. Even if it did kind of momentarily jump off a little bit, I think it would catch itself again on the tank and not, you know, go completely to the ground. But I don't know if I'd completely trust it there or not. I guess I'd have to do a couple of test rides and see how it does over there. So I think on this bike, the best place for it is right up there. That's the most visible and uh, most usable. Next up, let's see how the holder does on my 2003 Kawasaki KLR250. As you can see, I've got it on the side of the tank here because there just isn't enough room between the tank, the seat, and the gas tank cover. So you can see it'll stay there, it'll stick, but it's only holding by maybe two magnets at the bottom because of the way the gas cap is. It's kind of pushing it out and not letting those two middle magnets hold the tank very well. So it can kind of rock around here and I can see if I was riding on a rough trail or something it would just fly right off. But over here I can get more of the magnets to stick at any given time. I'm not getting all of them to stick because the tank surface just isn't big enough but I'm getting more of them to stick and it feels better. So I think I would trust this if I were riding on the road or maybe a reasonably smooth dirt road at this angle. Uh, but I wouldn't want to take it on too rough of a trail. I think this would pop off, especially if I were alternating between standing up and, you know, all that kind of a thing. I'd probably just knock it off with my legs. Now, if I were to put it on the side of the tank, obviously here where it's flatter, it would stick with all of its magnets. But again, on a trail, I wouldn't trust it there. But I think it would hold okay on the road. I really do. I think it would be fine over there. But my knee would probably bang into it there, so maybe not the best location for it. I suppose you could even put it here in the forward position, but then you wouldn't be able to see it and that would kind of defeat the purpose. Okay guys, we're going to try this camera setup. I know it's not the best thing in the world, but it's all I've got. Let's see if we can make it work.
hopefully that last video clip worked out okay with the camera mounted to the helmet. I took a short ride down to the local racetrack that has sort of a roughly paved parking lot. There's a lot of bumps and things in there. Probably equivalent to about the roughest road that I'd ever ride this bike on. And uh, this thing stayed rock steady right where it was mounted through the whole parking lot. Now I wasn't going very fast, maybe 25 miles an hour at the most, um, but it, it seemed to do okay. Now my only complaint with this whole thing is that because of the angle that this sits on my particular bike, it's pitched forward a little bit compared to where my seating position is. It's not horizontal or tipped back toward me like that. So because it's sort of away from me, there's a bit of a glare on it and it makes it hard to see the screen. Now even if there wasn't a glare, I think in full sunlight I'd still have a hard time seeing the screen just because of the nature of my phone. It doesn't have the brightest display in the world. So either way, I think even if I had to pull over to kind of look at the phone and check the map, this is a lot more convenient to have it here on the tank in front of me rather than to you know stop, get off the bike, take it out of my pocket or out of the under the seat or my tank bag or something like that. It's nice to just have it here so I don't even have to get off the bike to look at it. So that's going to wrap up my review of the Kemimoto magnetic cell phone holder for motorcycles. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, you can find a link to the Amazon product page in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.